you know, I, I know people are saying that he, he's old or whatever, has distractions and all this, and the defenses don't think that. He hasn't lost a step in all those things. That's not, he's not distracted. That's how this thing goes. So, Trav, Trav is fine. He just keeps being, keeps being Trav. You know, people are making sure they have him taken care of by some of these defenses. First up, Taylor Swift is allegedly coaching her NFL beau Travis Kelsey in something unexpected, songwriting. Yep, word is she's hyping him up as a potential music star. Could Travis be swapping the football field for the recording studio? Next in, chaos erupted at a live auction when a guy shelled out $4,000 for a signed Taylor guitar, only to smash it to pieces right then and there. Was it a misguided stunt for internet fame or something darker? Travis has a few choice words for sure. And speaking of Travis, fans are buzzing about Taylor skipping yet another one of Travis's games. Is it just bad timing or is something else going on behind the scenes? But the real scandal? Chiefs fans are turning on Brittany Mahomes, blaming her political connections for Travis's rocky start to the season. They're convinced her presence is jinxing the team's performance. And lastly, Donna Kelsey just dropped a bombshell. Travis isn't exactly a domestic god, and Taylor might be stepping in to help him master some kitchen basics. Could we be seeing Kelsey whipping up gourmet meals soon? Stay tuned for all the juicy details. You won't want to miss any of it. Taylor's next project, Travis? Okay, so rumor has it that Taylor's newest muse, NFL star Travis Kelsey, might be more than just touchdown material. He's got songwriting potential, too. Apparently, Taylor has been hyping him up behind the scenes, saying he could totally nail it in the music world. And honestly, are we even surprised? Taylor knows talent when she sees it, and she's reportedly been gushing to close friends that Travis has the natural rhythm and eye for lyrics that could make him a star. Who knew Kelsey had bars? Insiders are spilling that Taylor is pushing him to explore his musical side, saying he's been so wrapped up in football that he hasn't had time to dive into his other gifts. And guess who's more than ready to bring that hidden songwriter out? Yep, Taylor herself. She's apparently telling everyone that she doesn't like putting limits on her artistry, so why should Travis? Seems like she wants him to be involved in everything, from being her muse to possibly contributing to her next album. And get this, he's already co-writing lyrics with her. It's wild to think we could see some sort of Taylor-Travis collab soon. Could this mean a shift from the gridiron to the Grammys for Travis? At this point, it's anyone's guess. But if Taylor's got anything to do with it, we'll all be seeing a lot more of Travis, and not just in a Chiefs jersey. How's that for a power couple move? Taylor's guitars get smashed. Okay, brace yourself for this one because it's wild. A viral TikTok video has everyone talking, and not for the right reasons. Some guy shelled out $4,000 for a signed Taylor Swift guitar at a live auction, only to walk up, grab a hammer, and smash it to pieces. The crowd, shocked. The internet, divided. Swifties, fuming. In the video, the man, who's no spring chicken, by the way, casually walks up, takes the prized possession, and then, bam, just goes to town on it, laughing the whole time. Strings flying, wood splintering, and fans in the audience, uh, screaming. It's like he lived out every anti-fan's twisted fantasy. People are seriously wondering, what was the point? Was it just for those TikTok likes, or was there a deeper and much weirder motive? Joking. Guess we don't leave the wall hanger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> now take that and hang up that busted thing. Speculation is already running wild. Some are saying this guy's just desperate for attention, a full-on look-at-me moment. Others are convinced it's political. Taylor has been pretty open about supporting Kamala Harris, so naturally there are theories that this was some MAGA supporter making a statement, thinking it's his heroic moment against propaganda. Either way, it's giving off big, look how much money I can waste energy. And let's be real, $4,000 for a guitar only to destroy it? Fans are saying that cash could have gone to something way more meaningful, like helping students or, you know, not demolishing a piece of memorabilia that would only go up in value. But apparently this guy wasn't here for the long-term investment. So was it a political stunt or just another internet prankster trying to go viral? The debate rages on, but one thing's for sure, he hit a sour note with a lot of people. Distracting Taylor Skips Game uh-oh, looks like Taylor decided to skip another one of Travis's games, and fans are buzzing. After being spotted at the first two Chiefs games this season, she's MIA again, leaving everyone wondering why. 
Swift didn't show up for the September 22nd game in Atlanta, and now, on September 29, she's nowhere to be found at the LA Chargers game either. Cue the speculations! Now, before anyone starts thinking there's trouble in paradise, insiders say she just had some good old friend time with Gigi Hadid and others during the Atlanta game. I mean, who doesn't need a girls' weekend, right? But still, fans were hoping she'd pop up at SoFi Stadium for this one, and her absence hasn't gone unnoticed. What's causing even more chatter is the constant blame being thrown at Taylor for distracting Travis. Can we please not go down this road again? Travis himself has been pretty open about his performance, recently saying he played like trash, but spoiler alert, it's got nothing to do with Taylor. Even Chiefs coach Andy Reid is over the nonsense, saying Travis is as focused as ever and hasn't missed a beat. And let's be real, this isn't their first rodeo. Last season's rumors of distraction ended in a Super Bowl victory, so the dads, brads, and chads can chill. You know, I, I know people are saying that he, he's old or whatever, has distractions and all this, and the defenses don't think that. He hasn't lost a step and all those things. And that's not, and he's not distracted. That's how this thing goes. So, Trav, Trav is fine. He just keeps being, keeps being Trav. You know, people are making sure they have him taken care of by some of these defenses. Taylor's absence is likely just a sign she's busy gearing up for the Eras Tour, which starts back up in Miami on October 18th. But mark your calendars, there's another game at Arrowhead on October 7th. Fingers crossed we see her back in that VIP suite, cheering on her man and giving us all the content we live for. And some of the Chiefs fans are accusing his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, but they apparently forgot that they won the Super Bowl last year with him. And but didn't they win both games again this They won time? all three games. They've played three yeah. and they've won yeah. all three. They were just as tight then as they are now. What is going on? But she wasn't even at the game. Well, is, she, is she supposed to, to, to play the she, game too? She lived well, I, I'm she... Lady Maga. I think it's them because they're mad, they mad that she is not supporting oh. you know who. <laughs> Yeah. He might have been a little busy, and maybe he's not 12 anymore. This is this is a guy who's doing movies now. He's doing television commercials. Oh, yeah. He's doing all kinds of stuff. He did all these things, and it's like, let's get really excited about that, and then when it goes bad or something, they don't see what they want. Let's rip her down. That, well, that's okay. True. Well, he's also, still a viable but player. Tons of viewership and, and money to the sport. She Chiefs fans turn on Britney, and now in a twist no one saw coming. Brittany Mahomes, wife of star quarterback Patrick Mahomes, has found herself in the crossfire of frustrated Chiefs fans. After a lackluster start to the season for Travis, some fans are pointing fingers, and Brittany's support for a certain controversial figure is being blamed for bringing bad vibes to the team. Yep, apparently her affiliations are being called a jinx, with fans convinced it's behind Kelsey's so-so performance. Despite the Chiefs starting the season 4-0, their offense hasn't been the powerhouse fans are used to. Patrick Mahomes had a less-than-stellar game against the Chargers on September 29, and while Kelsey still pulled in decent stats, the internet is not impressed. So naturally, people are looking for someone to blame, and somehow Britney's involvement is getting messy. Some fans are convinced that there's underlying tension between Britney and Taylor, who's been cheering for Travis from the sidelines. Social media is now flooded with hot takes, claiming Britney might be jealous of the Swift-Kelsey spotlight and that it's impacting the team's chemistry. One fan even joked that Britney told her husband to stop throwing to Kelsey, adding fuel to the theory of a rift. Kelsey gets domestic coaching. Lastly, it looks like Travis is stepping up his game, in the kitchen that is. According to his mom Donna, the NFL star could use a bit of help in the kitchen and with household chores, and Taylor might just be the one lending a hand. Donna hilariously revealed in an interview that while Travis may be a beast on the football field, he's not exactly a domestic king. He can't clean, he can't cook, but he's getting a little better, Donna teased, hinting that Taylor's got him on the right track. The pop star, currently taking a breather from her iconic Eras tour, seems to be enjoying her time playing homemaker coach. Could we see Travis mastering some new kitchen skills soon? Donna certainly seems to think so. Meanwhile, Travis's brother Jason has also been spilling a bit of tea about what it's like to date someone as famous as Taylor. He admitted that while it's incredible having someone like her around, it also comes with a ton of attention, which can be a little overwhelming. But he was quick to praise how well Taylor handles the limelight, comparing her stardom to none other than Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, 
she's on that level. It just seems like his life is on a trajectory that just is just getting another Super Bowl ring under his belt, um, whether it's on the golf course or at a concert or whatever, rising every single day. And every time I turn around, I'm seeing him doing something different. He's just having his best life right now. He said that when you meet people like that, you know, when the Royals come in or Paul McCartney or <laughs> why am I here and why am I even allowed to talk to these individuals? What, who in this picture doesn't fit? But uh, I think he's handling it pretty well. He's a pretty friendly guy. With NFL season underway, it's Travis's time to shine, but it sounds like he's also taking cues from Taylor on how to crush it in the kitchen and maybe even the laundry room. Who knew dating a pop icon came with so many perks? We can only imagine what a Taylor Travis household looks like. Maybe we'll see him flipping pancakes like a pro soon. Antonio Brown's Swifty Showdown. Oh boy, Antonio Brown has found himself in hot water yet again, and this time it's not the NFL on his back, it's the entire Swifty army. After making some seriously offensive remarks about Taylor and her blossoming relationship with Travis, the former NFL star is now feeling the heat. Insiders say his comments were not only misogynistic, but also completely uncalled for, and Swift's fans are not having it. So what exactly did he say? Apparently, Antonio threw shade at Taylor for missing Travis's recent games, going as far as to suggest her absence was the reason for his performance issues on the field. And if that wasn't enough, he bizarrely implied that Travis should be dating a black woman instead. Talk about stirring the pot. Swift's loyal fans didn't waste a second before coming to her defense. Sources are buzzing about how they absolutely eviscerated Antonio on social media, calling him everything from pathetic to a clout chaser. Many of them believe this is just another case of him seeking attention, and boy did he get it. Just not the good kind. Antonio's history of targeting Taylor is also coming back to haunt him. Remember that AI-generated cartoon he posted of himself and Taylor earlier this year? Yep, fans haven't forgotten. Insiders say the star's behavior reeks of desperation, and with Taylor standing tall, it seems he's picking a fight he just can't win. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.